Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon with biggerpockets.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to build your very own website for your business in under an hour without any technical skills at all. Stay tuned. So the other day I was on the Bigger Pockets forums and there was a conversation going on about designing a website. And someone mentioned they were quoted $500 to have a simple five page website built for their real estate investment business. And I was like, dude, that's a lot of money. It's really not that tough. So I wanted to show you exactly how I made my real estate investment lead generating website using a site called Wix. Basically, Wix is a drag and drop website editor that actually looks really good and it's super easy to do. So hang on and I'll walk you through the whole process. But first, just a quick disclaimer, Bigger Pockets has an affiliate relationship set up with Wix. So if you make your website after clicking one of the Wix links, or if you go to www.biggerpockets.com slash Wix, you are actually helping to support Bigger Pockets and it doesn't cost you anything extra. And honestly, I would still 100% recommend Wix even if you don't go through our link, but thank you if you do. So thank you in advance for going to Wix through one of our links. All right, let's get the show on the road. All right, well, let's get going here. So this is gonna be the page you're gonna start with here. And obviously we're gonna start on Start Now. You're gonna end up with a bunch of different templates here uh, that you can choose from in a lot of different categories. And uh, you know, it really doesn't matter which one you use because I mean, you just gotta find one that you like that stands out to you. Obviously some are better or worse for whatever industry you're in. I probably wouldn't do this one because uh, that one looks kind of like a photography one. So I'm actually gonna scroll down here to real estate and property and I'm gonna look through these you know they look pretty good and I kind of like that one but I'm gonna go to the next page this is one I'm actually looking for I've played this before here it is uh, the handyman I really like this one uh, but you don't have to choose it but I'm going to I'm gonna click the edit button it's gonna open up the editor here once it opens up uh, you'll notice that most of this is just drag and drop I mean I can move things around however I want to I can click this uh, a guy here and move him around. I can move him over here. It looks like he's staring at me kind of creepily, so I'm gonna hide him behind the red. Um, I can do some fun stuff like edit the words around here. I don't want to be called the handyman, but I really like this design, so I'm gonna change this. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna change handyman to home. Eh, let's keep it all capitals. That looks good. And buyers. Now I want to spread that out a little bit. Like that. And add that this way. All right, there. Now we got some uh, home buyers, but we don't want to be called the home buyer. So let's change this to uh, my county is Gray's. Ooh, that messed things up a little bit. So Gray's Harbor. Obviously, it's trying to keep things in line. So I'm going to shrink this down here. We got 60 point right now. I'm going to go down to. Let's try 16. Ah, much better. Puts everything back into perspective. I can move this around a little bit. Gray's Harbo. I want to say Grace Harbor, and uh, maybe I want to go a little bigger with that. What do you think? Maybe go to heading. Yeah, that's a better one right there. So let me expand this a little bit, and there we go. Now we got Grace Harbor Home Buyers. I like that. Uh, this down here is kind of awkwardly down low, so I'm going to raise this up, and I'm going to change the words on that obviously as well. Uh, but I can work on that later. I don't want to bore you all day here. Eh, come on. There we go. Alright, so I can change that words around. Now remember earlier I said, uh, let's see, we don't want this guy there. I'm not a contractor, so I'm going to change that image. I'm just going to click on it one time. I'm going to hit change image. And I'm going to hit upload image. And actually I already uploaded my image, that's why it's already there. There's a funny one of Josh. And here is a screenshot that I did earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that so I click on it. If I didn't have it, like I said, just click the upload button there and it would show up. I'm gonna hit okay and there it is. There's me and my wife. So we'll slide this over here because I like it better there. I'm also gonna slide the red box over over here because I like it better. Doesn't that look nice? Now be careful when you're moving things like this around because you can actually move the text around inside or you can move the entire red box with the text itself. So just kind of be careful where you're moving that. I probably don't want to say price estimation, so let's change that to call us to see how we can help. That's a nice phrase. We're only a phone call away. Uh, I'll put my phone number in there, but I'm not going to put it now because I don't want no creepy people calling me. Not that you're creepy, but you know. 
Let's see, uh, let's move on. Over here, we got pages. We got design, we got add, we got settings, we got app market. Real quickly, pages, if I click there, I can actually go between all the different pages of my website. There's not just one, there's five pages here. I can also add pages by clicking add page, but I'm not gonna do that. Now I don't have services. I don't. I don't. I don't want to call services. So I'm going to click page settings, and I'm going to change the page name to frequently asked questions because I like that better. Page address. That's like a URL. I don't want it to be slash services. I want it to be slash FAQS. Now, if I wanted to make a page title, which I might for SEO reasons, so search engines can find it. I'm going to go frequently asked questions. Grays Harbor. That's my county. Page description. Um, I don't know, I'll worry about that later. But if I want to write like frequently asked questions, Grays Harbor, we buy houses, whatever. Keywords, I could also do that. This is just so Google can help find you. Now, if you notice back on the page here, I now have home. Now I have frequently asked questions, testimonials, about, and contact. I probably want to get rid of the testimonials too, because I don't, I've never collected testimonials. So I'm going to change that to, uh, let's see, how it works. Page address. How? Um, how it works, Graves Harbor. Good enough for me. Now I can go to my about page. I'm gonna want to change that picture later because obviously that doesn't really fit with me. So I just hit again, change image. Let's use that same one again. Oh, look at that nice picture. Uh, now, so we have our about page. You know, looking better. Obviously, I want to edit all this information here. I can do that just by clicking on it, double clicking, and now I can change things. No longer I'm a paragraph. Hello, welcome. And I will fill that out. So let's navigate to the end a little bit. We go up to pages, navigate back to the home page. Let me show you what I got here. So the home page, looking pretty good on top. Uh, automatic saving, that's brave wise. So we're gonna save it right now. Gray's Harbor Home Buyers. That's, oh, too long. Home buyer for now. All right, so I saved it. That's very important. Save often. Here's what the actual page looks like right now. Uh, it's gonna load real quick. All right. So we scroll down. This is what the page looks like. We got a little welcome area with text. I can write as much there as I want to. I probably want to write a little bit more than what they have there. I can also drag it so it's a little bit bigger. Uh, let's make this section much wider, much longer, because. We want a long section there. So, oh wait, that didn't work. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. And we can write some information in there. I probably don't want it that wide, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm gonna shrink up this page a little bit. There we go. And now I'm gonna enter my stuff. Welcome to Gray's Harbor Home buyers.com blah 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 now here's where I write all my kind of welcome paragraph I can change the font just by going here I want to call this body medium let's say maybe I want to do body large all right maybe we want this to be kind of a heading so we're gonna go heading large there we go now I'm gonna write underneath here so I did it again. Welcome to this site. I want to buy your house. All right, good enough. Obviously, we want to change that later, but for now, we're going to keep it just like that. Now, if you scroll down here a little bit further, right now it says bathrooms, carpentry, doors, electrical, flooring, kitchens, painting, the windows. I don't care about that. However, what would be cool here is to maybe change bathrooms to something else, like, let's not make this. How about... Um, divorce. Stop doing that. Divorce. That looks pretty good, but let's capitalize it. So I might change that to divorce. Uh, I might change carpentry to... What are some other things that people are going to sell for? Uh, underwater? Ooh, it doesn't quite fit, so... Let's go make it a little wider first. And... I'm going to write underwater. There we go. And I don't want that little picture of the hammer. I don't want the little picture of that. So I'm going to delete these. You get the idea. Underneath here, I can write something like, uh, are you going through divorce? We can help. Blah, blah, blah. Underwater. Are you underwater? We can help. Uh, you get the idea. 
So just throw some words in there. I'm going to center these so they look a little better. And there we go. So that's the front page testimonials. If I have some, I can put some there. I might want to delete them. Down here, I'm going to change this from copyright 2023. I probably want to say 2013 by Gray's Harbor Home Buyers, but we'll work on that later. No need to bore you with that. I don't have a Facebook or a Twitter right now. So I'm going to get rid of that altogether. All right, so that's the that's the general way that you edit, edit the page around. Let me show you a few more cool things that you can actually do here. These these icons up here again. We went through pages earlier, but let's go to design. You can change the background stuff that's going on here right now. Now, oh, there we go. Oh, we don't want black, purple, gray. You can kind of change it however you want to. I like what it was, so I'm going to discard the changes. Design. You can also change yeah different colors. I'm a bumblebee. It changes the entire theme. I see red. Changes the whole theme. Now these are kind of ugly, right? Discard changes. I like what they gave me. Uh, let's see, font. You can change the different fonts, but I really like what they provide on this, so I'm not going to mess with it. Add. Here you can add different things. If you want to add a text box somewhere, you can add text somewhere. Let's try that real quick. So there we go. Uh, this is some words. And I'm going to drag this. How about here? There, now I got this is some words. What else can we add? We can add images, we can add a gallery, we can add media, like music, shapes, buttons, online store, social, apps, a lot of stuff. So, and actually, let me show you how you add a contact form, because that's kind of cool. Go to add, so let's go back. You go to add, then you scroll down to apps, go to contact form, and here we go, we have a contact form. Now obviously this is kind of an ugly looking contact form. So let's move this down here, maybe shrink it up a little bit. And you know what? I really think it's just kind of ugly looking. I don't want it black. So I'm going to click on it once. Click on it once. And I'm going to go to change style. All right, we got a few styles here. Style 1, style 2. Oh, personalize this form. Here we go. Background. The red send button, that looks OK to me. Background. We don't really want that color background. I want white background. Yeah, that looks way better. The text, uh, I think I'll make it kind of a gray color for the text. Oh, except for maybe we want that one to stay white. That was a send button. But name, email, subject, that looks okay. We hit okay. We hit okay. And there we go. Now I'm going to click it again. It says show on all pages. I want it to show on every page of this thing because I want people to contact me. And uh, you know, we change this heading maybe to contact us today. Underneath it, I can now write some stuff. Um, if you are, let's shrink that text down to body large. Oops, body large. If you are interested in selling your unwanted real estate, please fill out the form below. Now, I probably want to do some more in there, but for now, you know, you get the idea. We go now watch this if I click here and I click let's double click on it email to I'm gonna send it to Brandon at biggerpockets.com because well I want it to come to me so now anybody on this website who does a contact there they write their name their email their subject and they write their message to me it goes right to me in my email box which is pretty cool so, all right, that is pretty much everything you know, need to know to set up a Wix website for yourself. Um, I'm sure you can do this quickly and easily. Uh, if you have any problems with it, and there's a ton of tutorials online, uh, you can learn how to do stuff with Wix. But it's really, really simple. The last thing I want to show you is how to publish your actual site. So you pretty much you save it first. And let's see, it's not published yet. So now I want to publish online. Allow search engines to find my site? Sure, why not? Site title. Saved it. Publish online. You're about to publish your site. Oh, I already did that. So, anyway, congratulations. Your site is now published and it'll be live at bra154. That's a terrible name. Wix.com slash Grace Harbor Homebuyer. I don't want that name. 
So I highly, 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 highly recommend that you upgrade your account. Um, it's really not very expensive to have it, but being able to tell somebody you have www.grays harbor home buyers is much better than saying I have www.bra15493 seven whatever it was. So uh, I recommend either going the unlimited or the combo plan. They're pretty similar. You get a few more uh, special perks with the unlimited uh, versus the combo. And mainly, if you plan on having a lot of people come to your site, if you're in a big area, major city, you get a lot more. Uh, I guess you get unlimited traffic coming to your site. Uh, so uh, otherwise, you only get one gigabyte of bandwidth. So you don't want to run that risk. But either way. The reason I suggest doing the yearly plan up here and not the monthly plan is because of one very, very, very important reason. That is the ad vouchers. When you buy the combo or unlimited in the yearly plan, you get uh, Facebook and Google ads. So you get uh, 75 in Google ads and 50 in Facebook, and those are very, very, very helpful. So essentially, you're paying you know 100 bucks a year for this combo, but you get 125 in, in advertising right away. So I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer do this you also get a free domain name with it which means you get the www.grays harbor home buyers or whatever you want to use and uh, yeah it's, it's awesome so definitely upgrade to that uh, connect your um, you'll get it takes like two minutes so do it it's cool and uh, that's pretty much it so when you're all done you will have a site at www. whatever name you want if it's available and for uh, what works out to just 825 a month you can have a killer website that's going to be bringing leads to you all the time so all right everyone i'm super glad you're still with me and i didn't completely bore you to death and i wanted to say a sincere thank you if you decided to use one of our affiliate links to buy your wix account you definitely help keep the lights on around here but honestly i would still 100 percent recommend wix even if you don't click through our link it really is the easiest and fastest platform I've ever seen for creating a website if you don't have a lot of technical skills. All right, that's it for today. Make sure you check out all our other YouTube videos like these ones right here. And we'll see you over on biggerpockets.com, your home for real estate investing online.